What's up, people? Hey, guys. Uh, my name is Nasco. I'm Peter. <laughs> <laughs> We're both guitar players in the band Reduced to Ashes. We're from Skopje, Macedonia. And firstly, we would like to thank Riz for asking us a few questions about the metal community during this COVID-19 lockdown in our country and our hometown also. And various questions, how it affected us and all the stuff. So let's get to it. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I think the pandemic had both positive and negative, okay, mostly negative, but positive that, uh, first of all, we didn't have any shows planned, so we didn't have to cancel any shows. Uh, that's one of the positive things, and we had time to dedicate ourselves uh, by playing and creating new music by ourselves which includes also a negative thing because we cannot have as many rehearsals and any time we can we can have rehearsals when we want to that gave us the time that we usually don't have that much in that amount that gave us the time to create some new material and uh, we kind of <clears throat> we had the, the opportunity to focus only on that i think it was a uh, good because uh, Good. It wasn't good, but one of the pos positive things is uh, that we already released our first album this winter. So we've played that album like a hundred times throughout the country. And uh, now this gives us a chance to make uh, to, to get to work on the second album, which I think uh, is almost halfway done because we have uh, like five new songs, right? Five yes. Months, so that gave us a really good opportunity to practice on it by ourselves mostly. Yeah. But it definitely is okay. <coughs> yeah, but the bad thing is uh, we didn't get a chance to fully promote the CD, the album, in a, with the physical copy in the towns we wanted to, even out of the country. Uh, so the non planned shows like uh, didn't get a chance to get planned. So that's kind of a positive negative thing for us, I think. And the thing that we're uh, without a vocalist, we're in a search for a vocalist right now. We're looking forward to that. We have time without pressure. And it's kind of gave us time to think for ourselves and play and create music. Well, at first, when the first wave of coronavirus occurred, uh, the government called for very strict measures. We had uh, like a curfew. They invented a curfew, which lasted from first it was I think from 7 p.m. till 5 a.m. every day, and then they put it from 4 p.m. till 5 a.m. So basically, you had to stay at home uh, yeah. the whole day. Yeah, people didn't move anywhere. Stores were closed, uh, bars were closed, everything was closed. Yeah, the bad thing was even if you were working from home, uh, you don't have time to get out and get groceries and stuff or go get some fresh air. Yeah. And you don't have time for anything. And that was the bad thing. Even for the weekends, we had full weekend lockdowns, like from Friday to Monday morning. Yeah, that really sucked. It's You can't move anywhere, you can't go anywhere and you're locked. And that's it. And then the numbers dropped. Then they stopped. They made a, they made an end to the curfew, and then the numbers went up. So now we're still with high numbers of new cases and without enough yeah. curfew. So we're basically kind of screwed right now. <laughs> yeah, like the curfew maybe worked, but when they yeah. stopped the curfew everything went to shit right now it's even higher numbers than it were before <laughs> because the bars and cafes opened and everything else so yeah it kind of sucks to see the numbers yeah. grow yeah <laughs> <laughs> as far as the people are con uh, are concerned uh like i have to divide them in two groups ones that really do care about taking care of themselves and ones that don't care at all so maybe that's why the numbers went high 
but I really don't know. I don't follow the statistics, only the yeah. you know, the raw numbers, and that's it. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I think we need another we need another curfew. Yeah, maybe not. It's not okay, but I think it's like everybody needs some common sense and uh, collective knowledge for the situation we're in right now, and just take care more about yourself because when you take care about yourself you're taking care of others around you and you stop the spreading and shit okay so uh, the metal scene in Macedonia actually the mostly mostly the underground scene over here is uh, the last few years has been okay it's like it's been rising up, but the few few years back has been weakened. So uh, this happened like in between the rise of the scene, like everything was going on okay. So this happens, it snaps, and everything goes on goes on a break, and nothing else is happening. Only a few live shows that were here, that were online, like that was that was really really cool, but it was mostly non-metal things. Uh, but the thing is, if we want some metal stuff happening online and live stuff, we have to connect by ourselves because mostly every one of us knows each other in the whole scene over here and it's not that big of a scene. It and, is to be, but it's not anymore. Uh, yeah, so there are less and less bands playing and active bands are like uh, breaking up and stuff, so it's like we're like a group of people, not a group of people, it's still not a small group of people that we know each other but and there are more and more people coming to the shows and that gives me like, that gives us everybody, I think in every band gives us uh, like a chance and uh, a will to show ourselves and play more shows and because of this lockdown and this situation we're in right now that is taken from us from every band and i think for everybody that wants to come to the shows so i think when this thing ends we want more and more shows as like more shows as possible to be playing double the numbers at this double the numbers stage. every and day I, uh, uh, I also hope there there are gonna be some new bands even Maybe this, uh, maybe this quarantine gave them some time to create some new material, new bands, new lineups, and stuff like that. Because uh, we really, we used to have like maybe a hundred bands in Macedonia, hundred metal bands, a few a few years ago. But since like ten years ago, the number of bands has dropped, and now we're like how many? Ten, fifteen? I don't know, man, but. So yeah, active bands are less than less on the scene. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, so just looking forward after this situation to play more shows and that's it. I think everybody agrees that is in a band right now, especially in our country. That is not that big, but we all are yearning for something <laughs> like for the metal scene over here. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to advise all the bands in the international metal scene to keep practicing and to, to use the, the positive aspect of the situation because when you don't uh, have to spend time to do shows and schedule and meet deadlines and stuff like that, you got all, a whole lot of more time to write new songs, write new lyrics like maybe if you have the chance practice together and uh, just uh, get into a creative you know state of mind because when this is over the more material we make the more we will have to represent right yeah yeah i think this is like a, a better pause for everybody like a good pause for everybody to think through the stuff and their goals they want to achieve with the band, going on tours, playing more shows locally or record more, like, uh, I don't know, budget-wise, every, everything, like, it's, it affects us, most of us, but I think everybody's gonna get through it if everybody has the will to do it.
Okay, that rhymed. I didn't intend it to, but... Yeah. We gotta start making some new metal stuff, right? Get there okay. on the stage and play, man. That's that's just that's the thing it. that we miss right now, mostly, every, every one of us. And we're hoping for that to happen as soon as possible. Me too. In the meantime, stay safe, guys, and stay yeah. metal. And practice and see you on shows. Yeah. <laughs>